Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to more Modded Oblivion. In the lapis, la, lapis, so last episode we completed the Benares Manor quest, so we have that house. Also we did a few fighters guild contracts, which is nice. So today, do I have anything I want to sell? Uh, the staff, I'm good I guess. Maybe not. First of all I'll stop by my house I think. Then we're going to go somewhere around here. And we're going to do Clavicus Vile's Shrine, which in turn will let us do, not do, but get Umbra, the weapon, which I really want, so that's the plan for today. After that, Fighter Skilled Quest, not Quest Contract, although there's still Quest. I'm babbling, aren't I? Oh well. Okay, so currently I'm running on water. Kind of close to the shrine, I think. Well, I'm naked, of course. Because I can't put on boots. No, I can't take off the... Uh, what the hell happened? Oh, somebody's fighting the, over there, I think. I can't take off the boots off of the shrouded uh, armor. No, because logic. What else is attacking me? Mm, probably a mud crab. I think I actually marked it at the correct uh, place, which is nice. Yeah, I can see it over there. In the distance. So let's remove the marker from our map, because it would be nice if it would disappear when you go near it, but it doesn't do that. I think my webcam just glitched along with my game, and it might still be glitching. Because the game is lagging. Oh, how fun. I think money is the offering that I need to leave. Oh, I thought that was my Your robes look dirty. You should clean them. Yes, 500. A mortal! Wonderful. Always a pleasure. Perhaps a few service for me, mortal. And I'll reward you. A fair bargain, don't you think? Maybe. You will retrieve for me a sword. A very special sword. It contains the soul of Ombra. A hero I have had dealings with in the past. Bring the sword to me, and I'll reward you with my mask. You'll not find a better bargain, mortal. Begin your search in Pell's Gate. When I gave my offering at the Shrine of Clavicus Vile, the Daedra Lord told me about Umbra and how he wishes me to return to him the Umbra Sword. I should start my search in Pell's Gate, which is... Near the old bridge, I will fast travel over there because I'm too lazy to walk. Hello! Hey! Pay attention! In your pack! The dog! I swear, you heroes aren't particularly quick on the uptake. Good. Got your attention. I'm Barnes, the Hound of Clavicus Vile. Not that I've always been a hound, or always been called Barnes. I've also been a red guard. For a while, I was a scamp, making deals with orcs. But for now, I am his hound, and I serve the Lord Clavicus. A word of advice here. You've made a bad deal. This humble, bad business. The things always end badly where that one's concerned. Clavicus has always been a little blind to that, and it'll end badly this time too. So. Just leave things be. Walk away. It's your best bet. Really? Barbus, the Hound of Clavicus Vile, has spoken to me through the figurine that appeared in my pack. He tells me that returning the Umbra Sword to Clavicus Vile is, is a mistake likely to cause great ruin to Vile's domain. I will Don't not give him the sword. <laughs> to <buy laughs> Don't have to worry, Barbus. Uh, who do I have to if ask? To travel, is the market district in the Maybe him? Welcome to Pell's Gate. What brings you around here? Iroki the White? Is that your name? Do you know anything about Umbra? Aye, I know of Umbra. But you're a stranger to me, and I'm not talking. I have a little spell that will help Take you, care. you know, loosen your tongue. So. Welcome to Pell's Gate. What brings you around here? Now he has a smile, actually. Umbra. Umbra? <laughs> That's a name I haven't heard in a while. And it's not one you should be using around Pell's Gate, either. How so? Uh, before I go on, let's clear something up. Are you here asking about the sword or the person? 
Which is it? Well, quite honestly, the sword, but I guess the person? Who is Umbra? I can tell you who Umbra used to be. Lenwin. She's my apprentice, at least she was, until she found that sword. Never did say where it came from. She just showed up with it one day. Said it was called Umbra. But she was different. She'd always been fair with a sword, but she began looking for fights, became bloodthirsty, then started calling herself Umbra after the sword. Finally signed on with some mercenaries, but I heard that ended too. We haven't seen her in years. Tell me about the sword now. It's a powerful sword, no doubt about that. Jet black, got a wicked edge on it. And they say it can steal a man's soul. Sounds useful. Where is she now? Can't say for sure. Some say they've seen her nearby, near the Vindassal ruins. Might just be wishful thinking, though. Yes, I'll go there and check it out. If she's around, she hasn't come into Pell's Gate. Nor should she. I fear that girl is long gone. If you seek her out, take care. She's a powerful one. Or at least that sword is. I'd steer clear if I was you. I wish you luck. I fear you'll need it. I don't need luck, I only need skill. <laughs> skill. <laughs> you know, w with skill I can do this. Okay, let's hop on Shadow Mirror, I guess. We'll be a little bit faster. I think, if I remember correctly, technically in that ruin we could l lead her to a spike trap or whatever, which would make things easier if I can do it. But you know. We'll try, I guess. First, let's actually go to the ruins. Which are actually really close, so it's nice. Here, Vendazel. I see, I think, a conjurer. <laughs> well, while you're conjuring something, I'll just kill you. Um, potions, I'll take those. A glass stab. Yeah. Sure, for now, I guess. Oh, you're not attacking my horse. Let me see. Sneaking. I'm assuming I will use up all of my potions, to be honest. She shouldn't be too far in, actually. I don't really have a choice. You know, so... Might as well capture- Oh, and I think I can lead her onto this um, trap. Which we will try if I jump over it. Which I think is technically this very possible for my character. And honestly, I think we can actually talk to her. Before fighting, so... Oh, that's poisonous gas or something. How the hell did that red not see me? I have no idea. Is she living with the rats? What's in this casket? Or chest? Cure disease, huh? Well, I guess it's always useful. So you get, since you can catch a disease pretty quickly in this game. I think she should be down there. Okay. Let's see. Can we talk? Wait. 
Let's be friendly. I thought she was an orc. Hmm. You risk much by speaking to me. You should leave this place. Now. Maybe I don't want to. Umbra is my blade. It is who I am. Who I was meant to be. For years I have fed my blade the souls of man and myrrh. Warriors and priests, kings and paupers, men, women, and children, all have bled for me. We are cruel. I have seen them all fall, and still Umbra hungers for more. Do not speak to me of that place. It was another lifetime. It was before I became what I am now. Perhaps they sent you to kill me. Are they worried I might come in the night and burn their village down around them? No matter. I am what I've become, and I know my fate. <sighs> what of you? What is it you seek? My death? My blade? I offer you a choice, more than I have offered most. Stay here and die, or leave now and live your life. Speak to me again when your mind is set. I'm sorry, but I have Mr. to kill you. Leave it alone. How about we just march on back to the shrine and tell Platicus the deal is off? Sure, he'll be a bit put off, but you won't be dead. At least, you probably won't. That's better off than you're getting here. Now I'll kill her. We'll feast on your soul. Oh, I can feel I her getting more angry. Your choice. Umbra hungers. What shall it be? We fight. Come then. Try your luck. Feel the bite of Umbra. <laughs> oh. I want a healing potion. Oh, you're actually quite weak, to be honest. You will not get my soul. Come on. Oh. And we killed her. I'll take her bunny shield. Yeah, we could make a lot of money with this, but it is unique. Only because it has Umbra in the name and... I mean, the stats might be better, I don't know, to be honest, but... I'll take all of that. And I will... Is she an elf? She is. Her sword, Umbra. Which will be my main weapon for now. Because it is the strongest weapon in the game, basically. Soul Chap for 120 seconds on strike. And absorb health 5 points on strike. I wish that would be better, but still it's amazing. Looks really cool also, so... That's nice. I'll have to buy repair hammers, because I don't see if I have any. Am I blind? Did I actually break all of them, huh? Oh, I have one. Watch it break. Let's see how long we can go. Uh... There we go. Cool. I have retrieved the Umbra sword. I'm telling you, don't bring that sword back to Clavicus. It'll ruin him, I'm sure. I mean, not completely. He's still a Deidre Prince and all that. Look, keep the sword if you want. That's your decision. But don't give it back to Clavicus. He doesn't know what's good for him sometimes. I will not give it to him. I need a good weapon, so... Arctic blow, huh? Oh, that's a lot of gold. Okay, I think that's all, actually. For this place, at least. Now, if, I don't know if I should sell off my Daedric sword. Eh, maybe I should, because... Uh, Again, Umbra will be my main weapon, so there's no real point in carrying that thing around, because it's not unique, so... 
If it was unique, it would be different. Oh, I'm assuming a rat saw me. I will not go look for it. I want to get the hell out of here. Quick save my game. Let's go to the shrine quickly to finish up this quest. It seems I have spawned into a tree. Okay, I'll save my game just in case. It's cool that we have Barbas in our pack, right? And he's not. His statue is gone also. So that's cool. You brought the sword! Now give it to me. As we agreed, Umbra and I have unfinished business. I won't. No. You would dare? We had a bargain, little hero. You would risk my wrath for a pitiful little sword? I will be watching you, mortal. Clavicus Val was not pleased that I elected not to return to him the Umbra Sword. So if we actually uh, gave it to him... Oh well, been good knowing you, kid. Back to being his hound for me. As for you, good luck, I guess. I've met us. Yeah, thanks, Barbus. So if we gave it to him, we would get uh, Savior's Hide, which is an armor piece, light armor, I think. Which is actually quite good also, I think, if I remember correctly, so... But yeah, still, I'd rather have Umbra. Because it's a damn good weapon. Now then. Uh, the next contract, not contract, we have a whole mission in Coral, right? So... I'll go to the north gate, I think? No, or do I want to go to the south? No, the south gate. I want to sell off uh, some of the weapons that I have. And then we will do the contract. First, let's hop on into fire and steel okay well met yeah yeah you too only quality goods oh she has a high level and that level can i Why interest don't you see a level cap gold cap which is nice last dagger is yours long sword to fire as well i guess uh, i will not sell that i will put it away a little bit later thank you be seen. Now then. Unfinished business. I have been told to report to Valena Danton and Coral for assigned duties. And let's do that. Do I have a shock spell that I could use? I saw Iran and I remember that I don't. Electrocution. Oh. You know what? What's new? You know what? Should we try that? Fingers of the mountain. Where is it? Coral recommendation part two. Let's try that. I might actually get myself killed right now, but I still want to try to do it. Okay. Save. This is the thing. That's a lot of damage. Was I supposed to stand closer? Let me reload that. So that I would still have the sc set scroll, you know. Ah, Rana's own notes. There, you should find a sexual pillar. I need a Wilkin stone. And I don't have it. God damn it. Well, anyway, I'll come back once I actually have it. Back to coral, I guess. God damn, it was a waste of time. Oh, but still, at least I'll know that I'll ha actually have to have a Wilkin stone, you know? Let's reactivate that quest. I still have Sins of the Father, which we should do oh she's here good to see you greetings i see you've been keeping yourself busy this is good i believe it's time for you to perform some duties for your guild what kind of duties 
We are a brotherhood, a family. What affects one of us affects us all. Fighting drunkenness, dereliction of duty are not tolerated. Uh -huh. I would like you to speak with Modrin Orion. He will assign you any duties that are currently pending. Good luck to you. Yeah, thanks. Just do your job. He's probably at the second floor. It is a privilege. What's happening? Oh, hello. I understand Daedra worship is... What do you want? I suppose you've come looking for duties, huh? I am, I am. Just stop. I know you're a madman and angry. I don't really like Marjorie, so... Duties. duties for you. Fine. I'll speak slowly so you can keep up. I want you to contact Maglir. Maglir. He's one of your fighters' guild brothers, but he's defaulted on a contract. We can't allow that. Makes us all look bad. Uh-huh. Defaulted. He didn't finish out a contract in Skingrad. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. He's raw like you. Go and find out what's wrong with him. Don't just stand there. Yes, I will. Like wizard. I have a choice. It could be a dangerous so we're going to Skingrad. I yes. think I remember where I need to go. Let's see. Skit. Of course here. Of course we're here in the middle of the night. I do like the light and damn, it looks amazing. Anyway, we have to go to the Westfield Inn, which is where Maglir is located at, I think. By what? What is it? The sister? They send you to find me? Well, yeah, because you defaulted and whatever. Defaulted? I suppose so. I'm not paid enough to do the job. I was supposed to find Brennus Astis's journal. And? Why didn't you do it? That was my job. They said it was in Fallen Rock Cave. You ever been in there? Didn't think so. I'm not going back. Not for that kind of money. That horrible? If you care that much, you go find it. The contract's yours. It's not worth it for what the guild is paying. I've got a family to think about. Uh-huh. Whatever. Good day. Fallen Rock Cave. Let's go to Wicklet's Cave. Not much better. I mean, the cave should be literally really, really close, so... Oh, we'll finally take Umbra out for a test drive. I do love this weapon. I think the entrance is over there. So I wonder what we will find in that cave, because I don't remember. Definitely not vampires, because I mean... If Matt Glare was scared, I would understand vampires, because, you know. But other things like, oh, maybe zombies would be terrifying in, in this world, right? I guess. Goblins probably also. Let's see, I think it's nice on camera, so... Not on camera, on the OBS screen, so I don't need... Night Ape right now. A skeleton that has... Sorry for my language, but his dick was broken and he died. Crushed by a rock, actually. <laughs> Damn. That's actually a sad death. When you think about it. That's oh, just night time. I'd prefer... If things were brighter, you know. Oh. Zombies and liches, huh? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Take your staff. There we go. The amber is awesome. Since it has soul trap, basically can just use it and Azura Star in turn, you know, and just refill it over and over again. Which is awesome. I'll deal with you first. 
I don't want you summoning things. Oh. Oh. There's still take lockpick so I'll never find out probably. <laughs> Force of habit, I guess. Okay. Brenda says this is journal. We found that. I found a uh, Ben I have found Brenna's Brenna's or Ben Brenna's says this is journal. I should either speak with Mac or tell Margin Orin that the contract is now completed. Now to be completely honest with you all. I have a strong dislike for... Okay. For Maglier. Hate his guts. But I'm trying to be like a hero in this playthrough, which... Actually, I'm kind of regretting right now. <laughs> and... Uh, since I'm trying to do that, let's see, can I... Did I check this chest in? I'll help him out. I'll act as if I don't know what kind of person he is. And I'll give him the journal. Gosh darn it. And I'll regret it later. But still. Oh, Maglir. Where are you? Can I help you? You're still around. I've told you why I defaulted on the contract. Not too much else to be said about it. Do what you must. I have the book, goddammit, the journal. You found it, huh? Good work, I guess. Well, take it back to Orin, then. He can pay you on the contract. Tell him what you want about me. I'll tell him you did the job. Thanks. I'm not trying to shirk my duty, but it used to be two or three men would be on this. I like the guild, but I've got a family to consider. I guess realistically thinking, you know, whatever. if he's actually telling the truth or whatever, I understand him, you know? Because, like, it's a bit dangerous because he's not some kind of hero or whatever, you know, so... Understandable that he would want to do... A contract like this where there's liches and zombies and whatever, whatever, you know what I mean? Okay, back to Modrin. Modrin? Why did I call him Modrin? Modrin! <laughs> Damn it. Why are you talking to me? Shouldn't you be finding Maglir? I already found him and everything's been done so, and whatever. I assume you've dealt with Maglir. Tell me about why he defaulted on his contract. I could betray him at this point, probably, right? You've got the journal. Good. So, what happened in Skingrad? He didn't default. Here's the journal. He didn't? Hmm. <clears throat> this doesn't sit well with me. Not well at all. Still, the job got done. Let's hope your friend Maglier has learned a lesson here. Oh, can I advance? Back again, huh? What is it? Advancement? I'm sorry. Okay, I won't listen to whatever. Stay with it. Now I think we should probably continue doing contracts, I'm assuming. Let's try Jaden Hall. Hopefully there will be a contract in Jaden Hall. I never remember what I mean I guess there doesn't matter. Let's see. Let's talk to what's his name. Okay. Oh, he's here. Okay, Burst. What? I need a contract. No? Does he not have anything? I'm sorry. You're not yet ready for a promotion. Okay. You too. Should I go to Anvil then? <laughs> Quite honestly, I thought he would have something. Do I have to? Let's see. Hmm. I thought maybe I had to go back to Coral and speak with Valena or something. Let's try Anvil again. Not again, but you know, let's try Anvil. Interesting. 
Honestly, I thought Burst would have something. Probably. Well, apparently not. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Say it. What? What am I supposed to say, guard? Jeez. Hi there. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Okay, maybe I can get more duties from the Majin then. I'm stupid, I guess. I can ask him about the gang while An I'm here. An all-female gang of thieves has been recently plaguing Anvil with a very unique method of robbing. They pick on only the men. If you want to help us do something about it, go talk to Gogan and Malona. Let's just say Gogan is intimately involved and leave it at that. You know what? Let's do that. Sure. I don't feel like traveling back to Coral. The Siren's Deception. I've heard an all-female gang of thieves is preying on the menfolk of Anvil. While I didn't get all the details, I was pointed in the direction of Gogan and Melona, two local Anvil residents. Somehow Gogan is intimately involved, whatever that means. It means he most likely is sleeping with one of the women in that gang. Probably not, no? I don't remember, what to be honest. It? Or he at least did something. Anyway, let's talk to him. Uh, he, he's in his house, I'm assuming. I would love to buy more repair hammers if I could actually remember to do that. <laughs> Where is he? Hey. Hey. Hello. What do you want? Tell me about the gang that you're involved with intimately. Talk to Malona. She runs the council. Judge, jury, and executioner. Talk to her. How would you like to get my husband Gogan out of hot water? Sure. What's he done? Believe me, he'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme. Ugh. I could kill him. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. And you look confused. Let me explain. Go on. The women in the gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. The city guard hasn't done very much about it, because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. Okay, anything else? When Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. No, it's not what you're thinking. Uh -huh. He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. You want me to get it The back? ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. One hundred gold. That's not a lot. Can you help us? Yes, I'll help you. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't offer you much help, but I'll do what I can. I hope the room. Let's see. Upon further questioning, I've discovered that Melona's husband Gogan was carrying a family heirloom when, all, when the all female gang robbed him. She's desperate to get her back and is offering 100 gold for its return. Uh. I mean, I know more where I have to go, but... What can I help with? Any more info? All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Gogan may be able to give you more information beyond that. I mean, as long as I the know where I have to go. What do you want? Info. Info is what I want. See, my wife couldn't keep a big mouth shut. Oh, shut up. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing, harlots. <laughs> I mean, that's Just what you please get. Help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. Sure, I'll help you. 
Okay, I guess we're going to the waterfront of Anvil then. Who will help an old beggar? Nobody. Okay, the flowing bowl. Right over. Jeez, my. The damn, he's fast. Should I just sit? I mean, I guess so. Or should I ask around, maybe? Nah, they're instantly here. It's just like they Talk felt to Faustina. It, you know? She's got a proposition for you. Faustina, huh? That one? Never seen you here before. Neither you have I seen like you. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. And I'm sure you wouldn't mind making a little extra money. Hmm. I've put together a... Well, a gang. We make money by luring fools out to the middle of nowhere and robbing them blind. Our targets... Weak-willed men who are easily fooled into believing they will have their way with us. <laughs> oh, men are so gullible. Damn, she's loud. Everybody could hear her probably in the end. If you want to join up, meet us at the Gwedden farmhouse around 11 in the evening. I'll mark it on your map. Oh, and one more thing. If you breathe a word of this to the city guard, you won't live long enough to get whatever reward they're offering. Remember, actually kind of cool if they would actually let you join again and not this system. shitty guy. Heard any news lately? Everyone's Okay. Um hmm. <laughs> I feel like the fastest way there <laughs> would be from Kavach. Let's go to this gate. Then we'll exit out of the city and make our way to the farmhouse. Okay, I'm almost at the farm. I think we have to wait till 11 p.m., right? I've arrived at Gwed and I'll need to wait until around 11 in the evening to go inside and find out what Fa Faustina and Signy have in store for me. Okay, let's just wait then. Okay, it's 11 p.m. Well, let's go inside then. I thought that was a body for a second. Well, Faustina... I see you decided to take us up on our offer. Good. We could use another gal in the gang. Here's how it works. We case the flowing bowl for a likely subject. Namely, we look for a married guy who drinks a lot. Uh -huh. Then we'll send you in there where you charm the man and get him to come out to some location we pick to rob him. When he gets there, we make him take off all his clothes, which is very easy, by the way. While they're helpless, that's when we spring the trap. So far, we haven't had to draw one drop of blood. The best part of the whole thing is that the men are so embarrassed, they won't tell the guards. <laughs> well, then that's so, easy, I guess. the bottom line is, you show a little skin. Just a tease. No one touches you. What do you say? What if I say no? Well, that's never happened before. I suppose we'd have to kill you. I mean, we can't have you going back to Anvil and ruining the whole plan. But why say no when it's so much easier and more lucrative to say yes? Or are you here for something else? <sighs> Jeez. I'm here for Gorgon's Ring. Damn, I knew it. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't think they would be stupid enough to send someone alone. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake. Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. Oh. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. How many of there are you in here? I'll kill you first. Good that you don't have armor. Come on, hit me. Too bad I don't have soul gems, uh, black soul gems. After entering the farmhouse, I encountered Faustina, who tried to convince me to join in on their scheme. When I told her no, she yelled out, and the rest of the gang entered the room fully armed and ready for battle. I had no choice but to kill them. Well... We had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Ask away. Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. 
I suppose you could say we work undercover. We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. Of course. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. What about Faustina? We'll clean up the mess. Don't concern yourself about it. I'm sure you had no choice. If you ever find yourself back in Anvil, stop by any time and say hello. Oh, and please say nothing to anyone about our true identities. You've done well, and here's the reward that I promised. Oh, 500. I mean, you'd think the people of Anvil the would know their guards, the at least a part place. of them, I guess, you know, because true identities acting like they're Superman or whatever. Okay, Faustina, what do you have? Go. Oh, a basement key. There, four, I guess. Not a lot of gold in their inventories. Let's check out their basement got a lot quickly. Of oh my god, that loading mouth thing, I can't with it. Wait a second, I think we can find items belonging. Ah, yes, let's see. Ernest's best shirt. Ernest's fancy pants. Astia's necklace. I'll take that because I don't know. Shoes. Oh, Penaris is Iron Cure. So he's been here as well. A letter. I can't wait to see you tonight. My every day is spent thinking about you and we will next be together. Soon we will be married and we can be together forever. Your true love. Oh, God. I'll take the gold, I guess. Penaris's prize minotaur horn. Sure, I'll take it as well. It'll be mine now. A wedding gift. Jeez. Oaken Hall family jewels. A bunny diamond ring. Oh, I won't take the silver nugget because Oaken Hall Herald. <laughs> sure. Pinner's shirt, Heinrich shirt. Pinner's has been here a few times, it seems. <laughs> okay then. This will be it for we today. In the next episode, I think we actually should buy a house because I've been wanting to do that but not doing it and I have the money. And more Fighters Guild and maybe a side quest or two, we shall see. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please like and subscribe and consider following me on my social media somewhere on the screen or in the description below. I would appreciate that a lot and I shall see you all in the next episode. Hope you have a great day and rest of the week. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.